Now, taking it to the streets, Jeffrey Brown visits a violinist and MacArthur Genius Award winner who's creating a new musical life to help others. 31-year-old violinist Vijay Gupta, rehearsing on stage at Walt Disney Concert Hall as a member of the Los Angeles Philharmonic. World-class orchestra, top-level musician. Oh, wow. oh, really? But not far away, Gupta also makes a life as a musician here, an area that many in his usual audience rarely, if ever, see, Skid Row, a downtown neighborhood home to thousands of the homeless, the battered, the struggling, living in shelters or on the streets, often ignored, even forgotten. The fact that Skid Row is two miles away from Walt Disney Concert Hall is not in my mind, a matter of two different worlds, but a masterclass in the way structural violence plays out, right? That is a predominantly poor community of color, mm -hmm. right? That has been historically and presently oppressed for a long time. Engaging these two worlds and being a bridge is exactly the role of the artist today. Gupta grew up in New York State, the child of Indian immigrants. Pushed almost to a breaking point, he complied. He entered a pre-college program at Juilliard at age seven and performed with an orchestra at 11. By 17, he had an undergraduate degree in biology, then worked in a Harvard neurological lab. Those were incredible opportunities, but they weren't my choices. I mean, you've used the words, I think, dysfunction. You've used the word abuse. What does abuse mean? Well, it was physical abuse, often. It was psychological and emotional. And it was sort of compounded into, the, into this feeling that I would never be enough and that everything would always be my fault. Music was his choice in the end. He was just 19 when accepted into the LA Philharmonic as its youngest member. Two years later came a life-changing event, meeting and then giving lessons to Nathaniel Ayers, a Juilliard-trained musician who suffered from schizophrenia and fell into homelessness. The subject of a book and 2009 film, The Soloist. Who are Nancy, Paul, and Craig? Those were my classmates at Juilliard. So the question became, well, how many more Nathaniels are out here in a community of over 58,000 people who are unhoused or at risk of homelessness in, in downtown Los Angeles? How are you doing today? I'm made, I'm made. Gupta began to learn more about Skid Row's residents with the help of people like Christopher Mack, who once lived on these streets and now works for a community improvement group. Helping people out of love, yeah. you know, not out of despair is a key, because now you don't make something of their condition. Gupta gave his first Skid Row concert with a group of professional friends at this shelter in 2010. The thing that, that sort of blew us away was the fact that these audiences were some, were some of the most engaged, empathic, wise people we had ever met. And we had never played music for. So At that point, were you thinking you're coming in to do something and then leaving? And that was... we thought it was a one-off. You did totally, yeah, totally. And, and we were functioning from the place of outreach. Right. You know, we just thought, okay, well, we're we're not here to change. Right. We're here to give you something. Right. Right. And then, but what happened? Well, what happened is that when when people in the audience started to ask, "Who are you?" My colleagues started to share really vulnerable stories about their own histories of abuse, or their own histories of mental illness, in their families or in their lives. And I started to look at the entire situation entirely differently because we were actually receiving something back from our audiences. In the years since, Gupta's Street Symphony has performed a variety of music monthly in shelters, clinics, transitional housing, and more recently in all five Los Angeles County jails. An annual performance of Handel's Messiah features both professional musicians, students, and people from the community. One, two, three. There you go. And Street Symphony has changed lives, like that of Malik Vasuk, 
whom we met in a space run by a nonprofit community arts group called LAPD. In this case, the Los Angeles Poverty Department. The 46-year-old Vasuk is a longtime musician who fell into addiction and homelessness and has lived in Skid Row shelters and housing for four years. He's now back in school and back to taking lessons and playing music, all after hearing Gupta perform. I was trying to reconnect with my inspiration, <laughs> you know, the hope I have and, you know, that childlike quality of wanting to be happy and at a time when you were not when I, at a time when I was like really struggling with accepting a lot of dreary truths and uh, wondering if I would ever be able to kind of get back to that and uh, and also not knowing if anyone really appreciated that I had that in me also affiliated with Street Symphony a DJ who goes by the name Sir Oliver he puts on music shows, including an annual reggae festival. I just wanted to enlighten the community and say, hey, man, I'm just not just a DJ. I'm here to, like, you know, make you feel good. In a rehearsal room in Disney Hall, Gupta said that for him, an artist is also an advocate for social justice. We think about art as something to be added to the plate. We also think about community engagement within the art world so-called outreach, working with disenfranchised communities who don't have access to our spaces, as something that we kind of add to the mix mm -hmm. of the great art. Mm -hmm. Again, I want to turn that narrative on its head. Out in the rain, on a winter play. The MacArthur Prize comes with a large financial award. And for Gupta, it also signals a trust and belief in his street symphony work. And for you personally, are you healed yourself? There's a point at which I can never get used to seeing Skid Row. There's a part of my stomach that always turns, and I, I've acknowledged that feeling as grief. Right? There's fear and sadness there. So for me, art has become my lifeline. And now Vijay Gupta's life has taken a new turn. As the year came to an end, he performed his final concert with the LA Philharmonic to work full time on his street symphony and other activism. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Jeffrey Brown in Los Angeles.